hi welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be doing a demonstration regarding a very important design that is known as split plot design which is widely used in agricultural sciences uh, especially in case of agronomy uh, this is actually an extended version of for the conventional uh, factorial experiment in case of conventional or traditional factorial experiment we used to evaluate factors with equal precision simultaneously in a single experiment and a randomization is done in a single stage but in case of split plot design we used to evaluate factors with unequal precision and uh, the randomization of the factors is done independently and some of the factors are estimated with larger precision uh, like subplot factor and some of the factors uh, are estimated with, with less precision especially the main plot. So for that I'll be using a data set uh, which is already imported here uh, by means of this function import data set that is a separate plot design uh, we have the application, we have main plot, uh, we have subplot, and uh, we have uh, yield also. We have different levels for main plot, especially here we have uh, uh, varieties, four varieties, and we have different doses of uh, some fertilizer, say nitrogen. Actually, this uh, example is taken from a very famous in book that is known as uh, Statistical Procedures for Agricultural uh, Sciences, written by Gomez and Gomez, International Rice Research Institute, Philippines. So let us start. Uh, let us see the structure of the data set. Uh, okay, we have uh, the data that is uh, SPD. So all our data set is in the factor form and we have three levels for replication, three uh, replication, four levels for the main plot, six levels for uh, subplot including this control and we have a response variable. Let us begin our analysis utilizing a library that is known as Agricoli. Uh, which is widely used for experimental design, especially factorial or single factor. For that, I'll be using a named function that is known as sp.plot. Uh, you can see it is used for the analysis of variance of subplot plot design is divided into two parts, the plot factor analysis and subplot. So I'll click on this. Then what I have to do within the, this, I have to write the name of the block since in this case it's replication column then pp stands for the main plot sp stands for the subplot and y stands for this so i will write block is equal to replication that's replication then pp plot is equal to main then s plot is equal to sub then this capital Y is equal to our response variable that is yield then I will press on this enter so we have a analysis of variance table so what we have we can see uh, we have main plots with four levels subplot with uh, six levels including this control we have three levels for applications and we can see we have uh, analysis of variance table and over table with P value significant p values for main plots as well as for subplots and we have two different errors error a and error b in case of separate plot design and we have the overall coefficient of variation and the general mean but we don't have any um, information about post hoc analysis or the normality of the residuals for that we'll be using a very important library that is known as doe bio research both these libraries especially uh, Agricola and DOE bioresearch are widely used uh, in order to solve or perform the analysis of uh, experimental designs. Then for that what I have to do I have to use this function uh, split dot plot or split plot you can say split plot is equal to then the name of the data set and uh, followed by these uh, square brackets then I will put four here because the fourth column here is my study variable response variable then after that I will again write SPD this split plot is actually the default function which is used to evaluate or analyze split plot design and the first argument is to write the replication or the blocking variable then SPD again I will put a dollar sign here and this main plot then SPD dollar sign our this uh, subplot then one one stands for nothing 
to perform the least significant difference if i will change it to two it will perform dmrt or if i will change another one then it will change two to keys hst then let us uh, press on this enter button so there we have we have a lot of information here so let us see one by one the first thing is the anova table you can see uh, the block sum of square is 1082577 and you can see the same is the case with the library agricoli so both these libraries are authentic and i will find the same analysis of elements table including these p values and you can see the quotient of variation was 10.34% in this case and in here it is 10.3 and uh, the general mean is 5478.903 so again you can see the shapiro will test is found out to be non significant which is a good indication that normality assumption is not violated otherwise uh, we have to do the transformations and uh, you can also see uh, we have mean square uh, or we can say we have uh, we have to see whether our uh, varieties or main plots are significantly different or not you can see we have a least significant difference of 359.699 and uh, we have the means uh, for these four levels of the varieties where we can decide whether all these four varieties with respect to the yield are significantly different in this case they are significantly different because every mean is having a different alphabet here and the key here is if the two means uh, are having the same uh, alphabetical letters they are considered to be non significant and here you can see the another thing is if the difference between two means greater than the value of this lsd then they are found to to be significant and here all these three four uh, varieties are uh, different significantly different from each other with reference to this reference value in context of the yield and in case of uh, this uh, nitrogen or we can say the subplot um, n2 n3 n4 and n5 they are not significantly different from each other but all these are significantly different from each other with respect to the control uh, you can see because all these are coded with the same letters and same is the case with 5088 8666 and here we have 5864 but here you can see the uh, least significant difference value or critical difference is 467 which is very high in comparison to the difference of between these two means and the thumb rule is if the difference between two means if the value of the difference between two means is greater than this value then they are found to be significant but in this case uh, the difference is very low in comparison to this uh, critical difference so they are considered to be non significant but they are significant with respect to this control then we have uh, interaction uh, means also here we can see which of the interactions uh, whether they are significant from significantly different from each other or we can say uh, we have uh, the final interpretation is that the main plot and subplot factor as well as their in interactions are significantly different or they have a significant impact on our response variable which which is clearly uh, evident from this anova table we have a significant p value for main plots we have significant p value for subplots and we have a significant value for interaction as far as the post hoc analysis is concerned the post hoc test reveals specific uh, group differences within main plot subplot and interaction levels and you can see the model uh, overall r square is uh, 0.93 0.937 which is quite good fit and uh, the good thing is our data our residuals they are normally distributed here you can see uh, the normality assumption is not violated so in this example all the uh, things are quite good and uh, we have done the analysis as per the protocols as per the assumptions which are involved in the algebraic procedure of analysis of van der variance in context to subplot plot design so we have choice either we can use lib agricola or we can use doe bio research but i think doe bio research is good in the sense that we used to get a large a large amount of information with one click but agricola is also recommended so you have a choice whether you can use uh, this uh, agricola or doe bio research both these are very good as far as the analysis of single factor or factorial experiments are concerned hope uh, this uh, uh hope you like this video if you have any questions or 
सजेशन प्लीज पोस्ट इन द कमेंट सेक्शन बिलो थैंक यू